Okay, so welcome to Beauty of Colors podcast, Dr. Jane. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here and I'm excited to speak with you. You're very welcome. So tell the listeners about you and what inspired you to create your line of skincare products. I have, or my background is in international human rights and criminal law. Um, And in 2015, I was uh, diagnosed with panic disorder. And I think when people think about something like a panic disorder, they think somebody who has panic attacks, but it's so much more than that. It involves so many things in your life. And one major side effect is unbelievably sensitive skin. And um, when I reached a point where I had to figure out how to deal with this and how to make this part of my life, um, I decided to create figgy and to speak to at least one of the many many symptoms that come with a panic disorder so you said the brain now the um the brand is fuji figgy figgy okay i was kind of figuring how do you say it okay (laughs) so why is the skincare product different from others why would you differentiate from other skincare products you know the thing is just that for me i love skincare it's really one of those things that i feel is an achievable something in self-care because it doesn't have to take forever and be such an massive commitment Mm -hmm. but unfortunately if you really really have sensitive skin you don't have a lot of options and you're usually relegated to the drugstore brands that work but they they just don't feel wonderful and luxurious and I just felt that because I have sensitive skin and need to avoid many things doesn't mean I can't still have a luxurious skincare experience so I wanted to create something that honestly works and helps but that also gives you that opportunity to still feel super special when you do your daily routine so you you do have four products so can you talk a little bit maybe elaborate a little bit about each products and um, what they do for the skin so the most important thing is that all of the products in the figgy line have green south african rooibos extract i don't know if you've ever had rooibos tea Yes, I have. Yes. <laughs> so um, there is such a massive amount of scientific proof behind rooibos and how wonderful it is to drink as a tea, but also to use as a topical application on your skin. And one of the things that it's really great at is its wonderful anti-inflammatory properties. So we included that in all of the products to calm and to soothe and to make sure your skin just kind of stays in a good balance and in a happy place. And it's a very minimalistic approach because if your skin is in a bad state, you really just need to go back to the basics just to kind of recalibrate. So in the mornings, I don't cleanse with a cleanser because my skin is too sensitive. I only cleanse with water. And then I use the Figgy antioxidant enriched day cream because it hydrates, it moisturizes, but it also helps your sunscreen to work better. And then at night, I have the double cleanse because I love double cleansing. I believe in it. So it's the cleansing balm followed by the gentle gel cleanser and then your really rich and nourishing evening cream. And that's the entire routine. (laughs) Okay. Do you have to use all four of the products to get the the effect of um, what it does for the skin? Do you have to use all four? No, I don't think so. I I would recommend using all four. It's definitely the best benefit because they have been formulated to work together. Um, the only products in the range that I, if you want to maybe just try one or two that I would not suggest you try separately is the double cleanse because a double cleanse works together. So just using one of the two is not going to give you the results that you want. But if you... Um, are looking more for a really intense evening experience, then maybe just try the night cream and do that with some slugging. Or if you're looking for something hydrating during the day that's not too oily, maybe first just try the day cream and then see how it works for you. 
now you know the summer is you know in full blast <laughs> yeah how would that affect somebody who apply your products and then they go out into the sunshine would that would the sunshine work with your products in order to keep the skin moist yeah it works really well because i've had feedback from many consumers or customers that live in super humid environments especially like florida and you know south georgia And they're really impressed with how great the day cream feels on your skin because it doesn't make you feel oily or too like, you know, sticky or sweaty or humid. But um, you, as always, have to remember to please apply a sunscreen 50 SPF or more after your day, your daily dose of day cream. Um, But it's sits really well on your skin and we've had really good feedback also about how good it works with your makeups you you know sometimes you have those little pulling balls (laughs) coming off yeah and it doesn't cause any of that okay sounds great so how do you cope um dr jean in managing your work and your life balance how do you how do you do that well i mean first of all i realized I think about two years ago that for me personally, there is no such thing as work-life balance because trying to achieve that was making my anxiety even worse. Um, I had to really come to a recognition that there will always be ups and downs in my life. And there will be times where I am more committed to work than I am to my family and times where I have more time with my daughter than I do in the office. And I just have to do my best to be in that space that I'm in at that moment. And that really does help me. But it's a challenge because, I mean, I do have anxiety disorder and I have to check that on a regular basis. I just actually came through a rather intense period of relapse and I'm kind of getting back on my feet. But that happened because I lost touch with myself. I lost touch with the signals my body was sending me Um, and just because I I tend to get a little bit more overwhelmed I'm just wired that way so the best for me is just to know I've done my best and to just rest in that. So what led you in changing your career path and how do you know it's the right decision for you? Well, two things really happened. One, which I at that time thought was the worst thing in the world, which actually turned out to be the greatest gift, because if that did not happen, I would not have been on this path. We immigrated from our native South Africa to Portugal. Mm-hmm. And the idea was I, I, I had my human rights consultancy and my husband and I were going to move our businesses over to this side of the world. And it worked wonderfully for him because he already had everything set in place, but it unfortunately didn't work for me. Um, my African-based consultancy continues to grow and thrive, but it COVID happened, everything happened and it just didn't work out for me. So I lost the whole idea identity of me and how I saw myself and how I saw my reality and I had to rebuild from that but later I can you know I was able to look back and see that was really the breaking point for my panic disorder because I had not been dealing with it well I had not been managing it and everything just came crashing down Mm -hmm. and I had no other option I had to stop and I had to reassess and I had to focus And it just felt like the worst thing that could have happened to me at that moment. But if that did not happen to me, I would not have created Figgy and I would not have been on this path and I wouldn't have had the guts to make a change. So there's there's a saying that says everything happens for a reason. (laughs) And um, this has led you actually into something that you enjoy doing. Um, is it only is your products available only in the US or it's is, is it in South Africa or is it all across the world? For now on the online store, it's only available in the US and Canada, and we are expanding to other parts of Europe within this year. Okay, well, congratulations. Sounds Thank good. You. Okay. Thank you. So how do you deal with failure, Dr. G? That's a tough one because um I don't deal with it very well, actually. (laughs) I'm just one of those people that I internalize things a lot. And I think about it and I rethink about it. And I I think about all the ways I could have done better and the things that I 
you know, could have said or would have said and all of those. So for me, trying to deal with failure is just recognizing that everybody goes through it and there is no one way to deal with it. And just kind of taking the shame out of it. Because for me with failure, there's so much shame attached to it, a lot of which I create for myself. But it's hard. I mean, even building something like Figgy and something new, there are so many failures that come with that. There are so many people that say no. There are so many things that don't work out. There are so many stressors. And I think you would go crazy if you were to harper on every single thing that went wrong. So just trying to acknowledge that, you know what, it happened. It happens to everybody. We're all trying to do our best. And what can I do next to make sure I do it better next time? So where can the listeners get your product online? Um, if you want to um, shout out your online um, store. Yeah. So the best place to go is Figgy Life, F-I-G-G-I life.com. And there you will find the link to the store where you can um, purchase the products or a free starter kit if you just like to try it. And you can also find the My Figgy Life podcast on there and the blog. And this is where I share <laughs> a lot about my life and about my journey with anxiety disorder and, and uh, what that looks like to me and my family every day. And this is really a place where people especially women can come to to feel that it's okay not to be okay. And there is no judgment or how to advise. There's only a sharing of experiences, really, and knowing that you're not alone um, and you're not going through this alone. So, yeah, they're so welcome to, to read up on the blog and to listen to podcast episodes and to explore the Figgy store. Okay, sounds good. So any last words for the listeners about overcoming obstacles and barriers in life yeah I've spoken about this before but it always comes back to just <laughs> send me that really strong reminder whenever I forget and it's just the importance of really feeling your emotions because if you don't feel that disappointment and that sadness and that anger and that joy and that excitement it really catches up to you and it's so difficult to make sense of all those muddled emotions after the fact so take a day to just cry take a moment to just laugh you know we really forget to do that and it it really does catch up to us so I do have Ooh, ooh. sample <laughs> that Dr. Jean sent me and I have been using it and oh. it is great I'm going to use the rest and um, I will drop a line and let you guys know how good this product is because it is good okay so oh, Dr. Thank Jean you. thank you very <laughs> welcome <laughs> so thank you for being on Beauty of Colors podcast thank you so much and just for your listeners also to know that if they go to the piggy store and use the discount uh, code beauty of colors mm -hmm. they can get a 20% discount on any of their purchases okay sounds good <laughs>